Hi, I'm Lynn Hoffman, Director of Operations for the Somerset County Library System of New Jersey. And I'm Rebecca Sandoval, Technical Services Manager for SCLSNJ. And we are here at the under construction Montgomery branch uh, to talk about some of the equipment and technology that's going to be in the new building. So, Rebecca, we are standing in front of the new Digital Preservation Lab um, here at the Montgomery branch. Um, it's a new kind of space for us. This is the only branch that'll have it, but what we do in it, we've been doing for quite a while. That's right. We got a grant in 2018 uh, from the National Endowment for the Humanities, which allowed us to preserve community memories. In 2018, we asked the community members to come in and we digitized their memories. So whether it was a photograph that was important to them, um, a Bible that somebody had inscribed in, uh, there were quilts that had been made, anything that was part of our community's past that was important to them, we wanted to preserve that. We're going to have some cool equipment in this room. One thing is a large format scanner digitizer, so we'll be able to handle things like newspapers and maps. Uh, that's really exciting. Um, we'll also have equipment that you can use bringing your own memories in from home to make digital preservation copies of them. So if you have VHS tapes or uh, cassettes or a bunch of slides, um, we'll have an easy way for you to process those and get a digital copy for you to keep. Does that mean I can preserve my old mixtapes? Yes, if you really want to preserve your old mixtapes, we can help you with that. So what happens after people digitize their memories? Okay, so we a number of things actually happen. We load them into an online platform so that anybody can see them and they're able to be shared. Um, they're added to our catalog as well as we have this brand new partnership um, with DPLA, which is the Digital Public Library of America. And all of our um, photographs and, and digital items are going to be harvested and available there. The spaces behind us, I'm really excited about. It's something that we get asked for all the time. Um, these are small rooms that can be used for private study or meetings. We have eight of them all together, which is really awesome that we were able to fit that into this design. Um, one of them actually is gonna be soundproofed. Um, so you can use it, you can bring in your podcasting equipment from home and have a nice quiet place to record your podcast. Um, and the other thing that I'm excited about from a technology standpoint is that they're all going to be reservable through our online meeting room reservation system. So you'll be able to go in and see when they're available and make a reservation. Each one of them will have a keypad on the door and the system will send you a text when it's your turn to have a study room and you'll punch in the number from the text and the door will open for you. So we are standing in front of what will be the sorting room at the New Montgomery branch. Um, in this space behind me, uh, we will have what's known as an automated materials handling system or an AMH. And what that does is it takes care of some of the most basic things that we do when you return your materials to the library. So when you return your materials, uh, the machine will check them in and then it will talk to our catalog and checkout system and figure out how to sort it to make it easier for our staff to go back and put the stuff back on the shelf. Checking stuff in, it's not a customer service thing. It's not like we're having a conversation with you. A machine totally can do that job for us. We're really excited to have it here at Montgomery because we know this is going to be a popular location and lots and lots of materials will flow through here. Fortunately, the room will have windows, so if you would like, uh, you can put your book in the slot and then run around and watch it go down the conveyor belt. Fun, not just for kids, but grown-ups too.